This is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G Xiaomi Fan Test or XFF edition. It's the same as the regular edition with some minor differences in the aesthetics as well as a new wallpaper. So let us quickly review the specifications. This phone runs on Android 13 with MIUI version 14.0, so no HyperOS yet. This comes with 512 gigs of internal storage as well as 12 gigs of memory. The phone runs on the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Ultra platform with a maximum clock speed of 2.8 gigahertz. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the game turbo feature. So this is essentially a launcher for your favorite games but from here you can also access cool gaming features such as an in-game panel which we'll show you later on and then there are also performance optimizations that you can toggle on and off as well as a do not disturb option in case you don't find your game here you can simply add them manually by clicking on the plus button. You can also manually set the GPU mode as well as some additional settings, which I'm showing you right now. You can increase the touch resistant area for games that you play on landscape mode as well as enhance visuals. So now that we've launched Genshin Impact, you will have access to the game turbo in-game panel and we're going to go ahead and click boost which will bring out the performance monitor you can toggle that on and off so we are going to run it on high performance mode you can also clean up memory and from here you also have access to toggle do not disturb mode screenshot screen recording you can, you also have a voice changer so you can mask your real voice from here there is also a timer and of course from here you will be able to open your applications in a smaller window let's say you want to do something with the calculator or if you want to chat with someone if you want to browse your social media feed you can open them in a mini window okay we are now in game in Genshin Impact let's quickly set graphics to the highest setting and then we're gonna bring frame rate all the way to 60 fps so unfortunately there is no in-game frame rate monitor but you can bring up game turbo from time to time and it'll show you real time frame rate and right now it's showing around 60 74 fps what we really want is the frame rate while we're moving around so we're just gonna eyeball the smoothness of this game so far the MSCT 7200 Ultra is holding up. Let's bring up the volume. Alright, very smooth with the game running on the highest mode. I will not play it on anything lower than highest. I do feel the screen getting warm and that's rather quick because we've only just launched the game. So we're gonna do our thermal test at the end of this session just to see exactly how high the surface temperatures are on this phone. Moving on to battle royale type shooters, we have PUBG Mobile and I already set the graphics to the highest that it'll let us get to which is Ultra HDR and Ultra Frame Rate. So here is that and as far as controls are concerned, we do have gyroscope support which is already turned on. All right. So as I'm looking around with the gyroscope, getting really good response 
from the screen it immediately moves as I try to move around using the gyroscope Okay, so we're at the matchup screen for Mobile Legends and I'm switching in between different skins to see how quickly it is able to load new skins and as you can see it is almost instantaneous. We're now in game and let us just quickly take a look at the graphics settings. We're running on ultra high frame rate and ultra graphics which is about as high as you can go in this game. Let's go and play. For our racing sim, we have Car X Street, and right now the graphics are set to the highest that the controls will allow us to go let's go and start driving and immediately i can see how smooth the game runs on the dimensity 7200 powered redmi note 13 pro plus 5g this is a very graphically demanding game mind you but it handles the game rather well. There are slight stuttering, but it picks up almost immediately there. It just slowed down for a sec, but otherwise the game is really smooth. So we've been playing for about half an hour and looking at the surface temperatures on the display portion. It's ranging around 45 to 46 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and check the rear panel. Looking at the back side of the phone, it seems that we're hovering around 45, 46 degrees Celsius. So same as the surface temperature on the front. So what we have right here is the Xiaomi exclusive Mystic Silver and like I mentioned apart from the color and some freebies such as stickers like this and a new wallpaper this is basically the same as the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus non XFF edition. Here are a few benchmark results. So in Antutu, we scored 723K with temperature change of 3.2 degrees Celsius. And for PC mark, 12K. In pass mark, we were able to score a high of 10,421 points in one test. However, in another test, we only scored 7.9K points. But look at the disk transfer speed results and you can see that it is doing well above average with read and write speeds well above 750 megabytes per second now going on to our thermal throttling results the phone only throttled by about eight percent so that is quite good for a phone that runs on the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Ultra last we have the battery life 11 hours 27 minutes and this is on wi-fi only with the display calibrated to pc mark suggested brightness level so do you have any questions about the redmi note 13 pro plus let's talk in the comment section 
check us out on YouTube. Just search for Tequia for more content on the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G Fan Fest Edition. See you there.